Hey everyone, welcome to United Prop Builders, the community building show that shows you the coolest props, costumes, and tutorials. I'm your host, Adam Hazy, and today we have a ton of stuff to show you. First off, we have John Walker. He was showing you how to make a hero suit, which is basically like the big muscles everywhere. He shows you how he did that with the foam and everything. So if you need some kind of muscle suit, I'd say check out his video. You'll probably learn a lot from it. I watched it, and I'm not even looking forward to making one of these yet, but I probably will in the future. And there's a lot of interesting facts that you can learn from him, because I've never worked with the kind of foam he's using before to make the bodysuit, so be sure to check that out. Next up, we have we have Tarchinoko from the RPF, and she is making a Chell Portal 2 cosplay. Now, the really cool thing about this is not only does she look great in it, but also she takes you through how she makes it from the shirt to the portal gun to the boots and everything, and it's really awesome. She did a lot of good work on here. So if you want to see any of the stuff that she built, or just see a really good Portal cosplay, be sure to check out the thread, you might learn a thing or two, who knows? And what we have after that is Ziga with his District 9 Assault Rifle. Now I love this so much because one, he's making it out of wood and it looks extremely good, and two, District 9 is one of my favorite movies of all time, and any time I can see one of the guns from that movie it just makes me super happy because the, the guns are really difficult to make for a lot of people, so not many people have attempted them, or not a lot of people like the movie, which makes me sad. So seeing this gun just makes me so happy. So if you want to see the incredible work he's been doing on this gun or see the finished thing, be sure to check out his thread down in the links below. Now Davey, he's making a Guardians of the Galaxy dagger, and the movie's not even close to being out yet. But be sure to check it out because he's put a lot of work and a lot of detail into this dagger and it just looks incredible. Now to continue off of what happened last week, Project Cosplayers Unite has their own cosplay calendar. But instead of the male cosplay calendar I showed you last week, this is a female cosplay calendar. So you gotta collect them all, you need both sets. So if you wanna help that out, go ahead, check the links below. Maybe, maybe donate if you have the extra money, get a nice calendar for yourself, who knows? The second to last thing we have for today is Ryan Brooks. And it's not an Iron Man thing this time, no. It is an X-Men 2 Cyclops visor. And the thing just looks pretty awesome, because he puts it on, he's all Cyclopsy, pushes the button, BAM! Lights shoot out. And he can even hook up a speaker and sound if he wants to, but the current commission that he had for this one doesn't nav it. But the cool thing is, it can also change, he has it made so it can change colors from red to green to blue to anything. So if you want to see his incredible work, be sure to check out his video in the links down below. And the final thing we have today is Meg Turney from SourceFed posted a video of Stan Lee singing at the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Geek Awards. So if you want to see Stan Lee sing a song to you, be sure to check out the video. I thought it was pretty entertaining. So until next week, I'm your host Adam Hazy, signing out.